So this is my suburban habitat, my suburbitat, and I'm going to survive here. Humid heat. Okay, so some of the spinach, some of the spinach squares have had their run or kind of suffered from some probably bad soil mix. I'm going to try to redo that. We're going to yank some of that up today and get in some starts, some bell pepper starts, some chili starts. I got some parsley. And I uh, may have to make another run back to the to the homey depot and see what else we can probably fill into those squares, keep things going through the through the season here. So let's take a look at that and see what's going on. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pull out uh, the old spinach and lettuce. You take that soil out in those squares and kind of mix it in with some of the better soil and see if we can't make it a little bit better mix. Certainly wasn't for lack of roots. Don't know if you can see these too well, but they're kind of going yellow, brown, kind of fighting off bugs. It's just not worth trying to keep going. They went in in April after the freeze date, but we still had kind of cold and wet, rainy afterwards, so it didn't do, they didn't do too well. Let's get these lettuces out here, I haven't got nothing from them. Like I say, I think this whole bed kind of it's failing from the soil mixes too well. Went back to the drawing board on that when I got the happy frog in the bed over the corner of the yard it's doing a lot better with that happy frog in there so I'm gonna take this stuff and kind of mix it in with the happy frog and replace it. See if we can't get some better luck out of it. You can see these squares here have already been lifted up, already done that with those. I got some uh, mustard going in these, or mustard deer collards. Planted a jalapeno, beef steak tomato, we'll see if those come up. Try to do this without disturbing the other squares. Got onions in here fresh and arugula right there. You can also see here that. This Mel's mix idea of a third, a third, and a third it does actually hold the moisture pretty well. Even though on the top it looks pretty dry, down below it's got a lot of moisture. So give me some hints about watering, I guess.
throw this in here and we'll use it to mix mix the other stuff in with it. Okay, what I'm going to do is fill a five gallon bucket with the old stuff, and a five gallon bucket with the new stuff, mix it half and half, dump it in the wheelbarrow, mix it up. I've already got a five gallon bucket of the old stuff in the wheelbarrow. So we'll get the newer stuff in. The stuff I already mixed and have been storing. Now let's go ahead and start placing some of these and using up some of that new dirt. Okay, so we got Anaheim chili right here. And Bonnie Green Bell pepper. What I like to do is kind of, I like to get this off of here, the pot off, and cut the uh, roots just a little bit, encourage them to start growing out. In some cases that's easier said than done. Nine thirty in the morning. It's Tennessee heat's already starting to kick in. I love it. Okay, cut the bottoms of these, and hopefully that'll encourage them. Actually, I probably should start from the center and move out. So we'll get this bell pepper going. Get some in there to get it started a little bit. Let's 
centered in there. Don't want to get too low. Maybe a little bit more. I'm going to try to come up to the very level of the, the stringers there. Probably good enough just to settle the soil a little bit. And there you have it. Got them all planted in. Now water them in and I'll be done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you look hard enough, you can find me on Facebook. Thanks and please subscribe.